right, we're in for a special treat. We've got Sturgill in the building today. And this guy, he is very cuddly, very sweet, likes to take long walks on the beach, pina coladas, a whole nine yards. This guy thinks he's a lap dog, but as you can see, his obedience is good, he's focused, his intensity is there. And Eric and uh, Daniel are going to do a little role playing here to uh, fire this guy up to the next level for the protection. <laughs> okay, seven and a half months old. That is about the equivalent of what you would expect from a year and a half <laughs> old Doberman. So, wow, amazing, wow. So, so calm, so obedient, so focused, and yet powerful. So, once again, nice clean out, back to obedience, didn't fight to out at all. Really impressive. And releases clean, and back to the protection. And bam. So, wow. Did I say wow before? Wow. And really crushing, full, confident, hard, powerhouse grip. So, gosh. There's just nothing more you can expect from a dog this age, except maybe to grow wings and learn how to fly. Once so again, nice clean out, back to obedience, tiniest bit of encouragement from Daniel to stay focused there. This is uh, really important for him to learn this impulse control. He really wants to go bite this guy. He knows he's here, he knows he's threatening, but he's got to control his emotions. And this is really something that separates protection dog cells from every other company on the planet. This early development and training for impulse control, but yet continuing to keep power, confidence, and crushing grips involved. A lot of times when you put this much obedience into a young dog, you get a lot of insert uncertainty. You see this dog's ears are forward, his attitude's great, his little nubs wagging, he's happy, he's confident, he's willing. And once again, obedience for days. Sharp, calm, confident obedience. So no warm up, no practice, no nothing. Protection dog sells. We like transparency. What you see is what you get and that's rock star stuff right there. Hope you enjoyed it.